What's up guys, thanks for tuning in, this is Fat, and today I'm gonna show you a very simple way how to troubleshoot a very common error in Adobe Premiere which doesn't allow you to render your footage or even export your project. I had this issue a few weeks ago and I researched and I found some solutions so today I want to share with you a few different ways how to troubleshoot this problem. So if your Adobe Premiere gives you an error, something that states error compiling movie or accelerated render error or unable to produce frames, this is the video for you guys so stay with me and let's dive in. So the first and one of the most common reasons for Adobe Premiere to start experiencing some issues or start slowing down after time are the media cache files. What that means is every time you open a new Adobe project, Adobe creates multiple files that help for the performance and the workflow. But when you finish this project, uh, you don't need these files. So I do suggest you guys try to clean your uh, media cache files as frequently as you can, because this is gonna help the performance of your computer and also it's gonna free up some space uh, on your hard drive. So let me show you how to clean your cache files on Adobe Premiere. As you see on my screen, this is probably the message that you got when you tried to render your footage or you tried to export your video. So let me show you how to empty the cache folder in your Adobe Premiere. So the first thing you have to do is go up to the left of your screen where it says Adobe Premiere, then go to Preferences, then Media Cache. And as you can see on the right side where it says Remove Media Cache Files, press Delete. Here you have two options. You can select to delete uh, unused media cache files or you can delete all the cache files. But in case your project doesn't allow you to delete all the cache files, simply select the first option and press OK and I'm going to show you how to delete all the cache files. So simply press OK and OK again. Now, in order to delete all the cache files, make sure you save your project and close Adobe Premiere. Now reopen Adobe Premiere application without being necessary to open a new project and follow the same steps. So simply go to Adobe Premiere again, Preferences, Media Cache File, where it says remove media cache file, press delete. So now select delete all media cache files from the system and simply press OK. And OK again. So this is how you remove all the cache uh, media files in Adobe Premiere. So I hope this worked for you guys, but in case it didn't, don't worry, I have a few more solutions for you. So the next problem that might cause this error in Adobe Premiere is um, the render selection in your project settings. So let me show you how to fix that. Now, in order to enter the project settings, go up where it says File, then Project Settings, then General, now, if you notice next to render, there is a drop down menu, so simply click on it and make sure you select the third option Mercury Playback Engine Software Only. Once you select that option, simply press OK. Now, before you save and restart your project, let's go and check on the sequence settings. So go to the sequence, press right click on the trackpad or um, a mouse, and select sequence settings. Now, if you look all the way down in the video preview section, Next to preview file format, there is a drop down menu. So simply click on the drop down menu and select QuickTime. Once you make your selection, simply press OK. Now you can save and you can restart the project. So these two solutions are the most common ways to troubleshoot uh, errors and issues in Adobe Premiere. So I hope that worked for you. But in case it didn't, I have a few more things to show you guys. So the next thing I'm going to show you is how to enter the actual Adobe Premiere files and folders. And what happens is when you install an Adobe product, Adobe actually creates its own folders and files. But at times some of these files stop working, stop performing, they break. So I'm going to show you how to enter these folders and files and how to delete some of them. So when you open another project, uh, Adobe is going to create new and fresh and working files. So let me show you how to do that. So in order to find the Adobe folders, first navigate to Finder, then go, they go to Folder, then forward slash library. Now look for application support, then Adobe. Go down all the way to the bottom until you find the folder common. Then plugins, 7.0, it might be a different version, but it's usually 7.0. Media core. So take the media core folder and put it on the desktop. 
So now go back to the finder, then go, go to finder. Now add the squiggly dash in front of the forward slash, which is located on the uh, top left side of your keyboard, and then simply press go. Now look for the folder application support. And as you can see here, there is a folder Adobe. I'll personally remove the entire folder, but just to be on the safe side, I suggest you change the name on the folder, something like adobe.old. So this way we're still gonna keep the folder with the original files. And this way Adobe, once we open a new project, is gonna create new folders with new files. And this is it, you can now close the finder. So these are the most common ways to troubleshoot issues with Adobe Premiere when it doesn't allow you to export your project or it doesn't allow you to render anything. However, before I go, I want to mention one more thing. So Adobe have experiencing a lot of issues with the dynamic links. What that means is this is the relationship between multiple applications. So if you have Adobe project, Adobe Premiere project, and then you create another animation in Adobe After Effects and you import the animation in Adobe Premiere, and you don't have these dynamic links well established, the actual animation of Adobe Premiere might doesn't render or create some issues. So in order to troubleshoot that, make sure both of the applications, Adobe Premiere and Adobe After Effects are open at the same time. So this is it guys, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed, hope I was able to help some of you. However, if you think that this video didn't solve your problem and you found a different solution, please share your opinion in the comment section below this video. Thank you so much and if you like what I do, please subscribe for my channel and I'll see you in the next video.